I also got this entire Harry Potter's book set. I, they were literally $7 for all of them. It's a dollar each. Well, hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage. And today I am here at an estate sale in the Villages, Florida. And we're gonna actually check out a few estate sales today. So let's head on into this one and see what we can do. All right. Oh, they've got Epsom salt. I wonder how much, oh, $2. I think that's a pretty good price. And then they have all of these other little, I'll have to look at those when I get back in. But so far I've got some Epsom salt. Oh, there's the table I saw in the photos. Now I was needing a table. Oh, it's sold. Well, it's a nice one. So I'm gonna keep my eyes out for something similar to this. Or like a white one would be nice too. Sort of similar to that. My leg is completely asleep. $2, it's like a little newer thing. All these mugs are adorable. There's a cow. 50 cents each. Hmm. There's hardly anybody here and it's just 20 minutes after they opened and we're currently in the villages. Some random spoons. Nice open house. Look at that table. Now that one's too big. I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't want to do, oh, they, so maybe the same person bought that one. These chairs are really cool, though. Reminds me of, like, Gilgan's Island or something. They've got some crystal pieces over here. Here's a clear swung vase. It's a little cloudy. There's not a price on it, but it looks like $2, $3 for all this kind of stuff. Don't know about trying to clean that, though, you know? Not sure. Little trinket dish, candlesticks, cushions. There's a finger vase over here. And some teapots. Let's look at the finger vase. It's only three bucks. There is some crazing through it. I don't think so. <laughs> so far I've got my Epsom salt. Yeah. There's a couple little brass things. Oh, that's cool. Look at this. That is neat. Look at this brass. Oh, that is, I have not really seen the brass ones of these, just the wood ones. I'm gonna get that. Oh, I like this little hook. Look at that. Let me put the little price back on it. It's a dollar. There's an Egyptian piece for a dollar. There's this little brass swan for a dollar, this butterfly thing. I don't know exactly what that is. Is it a letter opener or a hat pin or I don't know. Okay, it's a darn price tag. Okay, get those. Somebody even bought this chair. It actually is a pretty cool chair. And the lamp, my goodness. There's artwork. They have these outdoor sets. I don't need any outdoor sets. I don't like the smoke glass either. And it's kind of dark overall, the whole thing. There's a little frog here, a sponge holder, a little crack on its mouth. There's a bed that's severely caved in, full of purses. Okay. I can't believe that they would sleep on that. Oh, they've got some sheets. I don't think I see any that I've got to get. Some wigs, sunglasses. Um, I don't think I need any of those things. There's some little cordial glasses there. Some shot glasses. Those are fun. I like those with the little rings on them. A dollar each. Got some pots and pans. All right, on to the next one. Looks like they have a golf cart for sale. It's only 9,000. That's pretty. Look at the colors on there. It's like an orange. Oh, look over here. They've got a Bambi. Oh, they have $95 on it. And then a little skunk hand painted and a little thumper. There's an art glass bird for $2. I'll get that one. 
And they also have the moon and star. $20 in there. And some Fostoria candlesticks with the coin. And then over here we've got some candlesticks. This is an art glass. That's pretty for $5. Has a little bit of the gold in there. I might get that. I think so. It's pretty for $5. So I'll get that. They have a lot of the clear glass here. Lots of clear glass. That's pretty. The console bowls. Some goblets. The pattern is Georgian. Maybe Viking. I can't remember. But they're in the ruby. Lots of vases over here too. Hmm. Oh, this is a really green carpet. I noticed a green bird over here. It's only four dollars. Looks like it's in really good shape. I don't see any chips or cracks on it, so I'm gonna pick that up too. There's some hummingbirds and some other little figures here. Nice porch. That's pretty. Or a lanai. I need to remember. And we're in the villages again right now. Oh yes, I like the way they do this. See, they painted the ground. And I know they do that a lot at the, in the driveways. I'd like to have that done on my back porch. I mean, I guess I could do it, or I could see how much it costs for somebody else to do it. I'll have to go check out the bedrooms too. There's the kitchen, another view of that. Like an office. Lots of books. Oh wow. Look at those pair of Aztec bookends. $16. That'd be really heavy to ship though. Let's check out the other room. Prices are firm today, it says. That's a pretty chair. Some pillows up there. More Christmas decor. A lot of it's newer. That looks like Jim Shore. Let's see. Eight dollars. I'm gonna get that. Get this one too. Oh, I almost missed the snowman. Oops. I'm out of hands. Oh no, I need to get a basket. Okay, I think I got all the gym shore and I got a basket. Look at that. Fantastic. I don't know how much cash I have either. I need to start remembering to carry cash at these things. Bedroom. I didn't really notice the art. They've got a lot of art on the walls too. Here's a needle point with the roses. I like this. I like this mug. It's 75 cents. It has little seagulls on it. It's pottery. I don't think it's extremely old or anything, but it's really pretty. I think I'll get it. It's only 75 cents. And they have some Corel dishes here too. That's pretty nice. There's a little bit of damage to them on the edges. They've got the prices up here. It's a little bird. Washcloths. Would you think that's a washcloth? Or a hand towel? That's cute with a little bird on it. These are all done. They've got like a whole set of them. There's owls. I'm not sure how they have those priced. Oh, that's adorable. Let me get those. There's this one. It's pretty too. They have these smaller quilts. Here. Looks like they're ten dollars. There's this one here too. This looks like a good one. Oh wow. They've got like all these flowers. There's like nothing wrong with it. 
for ten dollars. That's remarkable. I'm gonna double check that price list, but <laughs> that's what it said. Wow. What I found. This is a dollar. This is actually from 1912. That is so pretty. So it's well, <laughs> I mean, it's the you know, it's, but it's beautiful. So I'm gonna get that. Add that to my pile. That's really good. Oh, they've got all this like little folded paper art too on the walls. Eight dollars each. I sold these a long time ago. They've got fourteen dollars on the pair of them. I sold a gold set. Okay, I think I looked at everything over there. Those were all those vases and things. I just love this book. This is from 1912. Not cool though. It's beautiful. I also got this entire Harry Potter's book set. I've never read them, but I they were literally seven dollars for all of them. It's a dollar each. And I had a feeling that they would do better than that. So um yeah, those might go on eBay. I don't know. And all my Jim Shore, my sewn pieces. I'm so happy. It's really great items. Okay, let's head into another estate sale. I've got some art down there. Oh wow. Five dollars for the pottery. I'm gonna go around this table this way. Oh, that's really pretty. Wow, look at that frame. And the watercolor. Oh, it's $75. There's some lusterware over here. There's this little ashtray here. Oh, those are cute, all the little lusterware pieces. There's some bud vases. They've got this set there for 20. This set's kind of nice. It's like a little oil. It's like a little, maybe oil, vinegar, mustard, a shaker. But the peach and blue lusterware is nice. There's some wall pockets for $40. Oh my. That must be their collection and they're very excited about it. There's some whole, H-U-L-L -L here. Whole pottery, little vases. Oh, little stones. Here's a Capodimonte flower. It says Italy on the bottom of it. It's pretty. This is kind of pretty. A little ashtray for $2 in the Amber Bolacante. Just has the controlled bubbles all in there. I might get that. I don't know. I'm not really excited about the color. So maybe not. Let me look at this. This might be Linux. It is Linux. I don't see a price on it though. It's cute with the little birds. I guess I could figure that out. Other little tools over here, a rolling pin. This is kind of pretty. R Toledo. Nordstrom. That might be pretty collectible. I don't see a price on it. This little box here is $10. This is, um, it's made to look old, but it's definitely not like the age that it's trying to be. So, yeah, made in Japan. It's trying to look about 1900s era, but you could see like the kind of the fake old distress gilding and stuff on that. It's still cool, it's a musical box. I have to find out about this. The Linux. There's some cleaner. Okay. There's some bedrooms to check out too. Wow, look at those chairs. $75 each. Oh my. That, I honestly don't know. They need to be completely repainted, but I'm not sure. I don't know. Interesting. So, and this set here is 250. The frame is really cool. The fabric, I don't know, I think you'd want to probably update the fabric. And there's more of those chairs, and they each have $75 written on them. So I I don't know, they are, they're cool, they're old, but they're rusted. They've got, you know, their chrome is, needs to be probably replated, <laughs> repainted, repainted, replated. I don't know. Got some hardcover books in here, $3 each. Some other little furniture pieces. Oh my gosh, $100. Well, I mean, you get both of them. And then 200 for this piece. So I found this little elephant with this like kind of cranberry. It's a perfume bottle. You can see the stopper kind of in its body there. That is $5. And then the Linux bird, actually $2. So I'm gonna get those. There's a couple little 
It's just like a little pig. $10 for the cloisonne. Perfume bottle over there for 10. Some other dishes. Okay, I'm just gonna probably get these two items. This is pretty. I'll check that one over. I just don't have a hand. Let's see. Let me see if I can figure this out. Oh, there's a little chip on the inside of it. I probably won't. All right, so I got a few things at this last one, but we did really well at the, all three of the estate sales, really. So I'm pretty happy about it. But for now, I'm going to wrap it up. So thanks for watching. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.